There is a version of me who is happy. There is a version of me who puts effort into her meals and goes out when she wants to and doesn't find chores quite so laborious. There is a version of me who is kind to herself. There is a version of me whose productivity is gentle but fulfilling, not pressurizing and somewhat self-destructive. What would the best version of me do? She'd be more like her. They're the things reminding me Living life is pretty neat And across my mind run the reasons why It's a blessing Hello, good morning and welcome back to my channel It's been way too long I feel like it's probably only been like a month But lately every time I make a video There's a massive gap in between them And to be honest that is part of the reason that I'm making this video today Because I don't really know how to put this and I, I don't want this to be coming across as kind of like toxic productivity or me putting my worth in being productive or me being unkind to myself because I'm not here to call myself lazy or be horrible to myself or to tell you that you're only worth anything if you're busy constantly but as you may be able to tell, you probably can't actually because I think this is only focused on my face. My room is a mess. My life is feeling like a bit of a mess. I am feeling like a bit of a mess. And that's not through lack of trying. It's just that I have this like constant weight on me and it makes me feel like I just can't do things. And I actually saw, I think it was Spencer Barbosa um, talking on her story about this kind of mindset of what would my best self do right now? Like if I was my best self and by best self, I mean like happiest, healthiest, mentally doing the best kind of self. What do I imagine that version of me would do in this situation? Like just throughout the day. So say like I'd be lying in bed and I know that I've got laundry that I should be doing but my brain's like I just can't get up right now. What would my best self do in that situation? Because she wouldn't stay lying down, she'd go and do it. And I feel like that's where I'm getting really stuck is just the not doing it part. Like I know I have so much to do, but I just can't do it. So today I thought I would just try and implement that mindset a bit and see if it helps me shift this kind of rut that I've been in. I've also just been so anxious and not feeling myself. So I haven't wanted to make a video, but I really miss it. I really, really, really miss YouTube and editing and talking to you guys. So I've got so much that I do need to do, but I am gonna start off with breakfast. I think I've mentioned before, but I go through phases where I have energy to make myself a nice breakfast. And then the rest of the time I'm like, just shove some wheat bix in a bowl and it's quite boring. So what would my best self do? She would make the thing that I've been hankering for, but haven't made and that is baked oats. So if I have the ingredients, I haven't actually been downstairs today. If I have the ingredients, I'm gonna go and make baked oats. But before that, my most put together happy healthy self would be making the bed, clearing the bed and making the bed so that later on it's easier to tidy my room. So anyway, hello, welcome back. <laughs> We have no bananas. Empty fruit bowl. What would the best version of me do right now? Do you reckon a frozen banana would work? Seriously have not made baked oats in so long. I've got the recipe off my own Instagram. This smell is very nostalgic, even though, well no, to be fair, I haven't made baked oats since like 2021, so they do take ages to be fair. They take like 20 minutes to cook and usually I'm a quick breakfast person, so whatever, but. Look at those. Oh my God. I have not had baked oats in so long and I'm actually thoroughly excited about it. I'm gonna film the opening of this so that you guys can see. Oh my God. Oh, that was magic. They actually taste really, really nice. I'm gonna let these cool down and then I'm gonna eat them. Putting effort into your breakfast is worth it. This is so much better than just having 
plain Weetabix again or granola. One of the issues I have at the moment is my fringe. <laughs> no, but one of the issues I have at the moment is I will have my breakfast and then I'll just sit on the sofa for like an hour. Actually, I could probably spend that time doing something actually good for my mental health, like taking my medication. Also something I've been so bad at recently. I hate taking medication at the moment. There is something about the action of it that just makes me feel unwell. Um, so I just put it off and put it off. So what would the best version of me do? She would take her meds right now and then she would clear up her breakfast. Anyway, I'm gonna take my meds. I have to play a game in my head <laughs> to take these. And that game is called, um, I'm a really cool person that doesn't gag when they take their meds. Another thing I've been kind of struggling with is drinking water. So I am gonna kind of meet myself halfway because my best self would drink like two liters of water a day, but I know that I can't do that right now. So I'm gonna have as much squash as I can. This day is making me feel very good. I, oh my God, my camera's about to die. This happens every time. What I was gonna say is I'm already feeling so much better than I usually would on a day like this. To be honest, normally on a day recently, <laughs> What? Usually at the moment, I am getting like maybe two things done in a day, which if that is you, honestly, I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad. That is absolutely fine. We all have different levels of productivity and rest is really important. But the issue for me is that I have like content to create and washing to do and things to put away and just so much to get on with. The light is changing really weirdly right now. That it, it's overwhelming me. Like I feel like I'm drowning in things that I need to do and doing absolutely none of it. So I'm feeling so good today. I have more energy. I feel like I'm really on top of things. It isn't about me thinking that I don't deserve rest or that I'm lazy. I know I deserve rest, but I have been resting to the point of it actually being quite detrimental to me, basically. So anyway, oh my God, I'm good at rambling. For lunch, I'm gonna make pesto pasta because I really, really fancy that. I'm due on my period, so that's probably why I'm fancying something quite like carby and good. So I'm gonna have basil pesto, I'm gonna put cheese on top of it, and I'm also gonna add in black olives because I'm feeling fancy. <laughs> gonna eat this then I'm gonna go and list some clothes to sell on Vinted and I'll leave my Vinted linked in the description by the way this is more clothes I need to sell I am like slowly losing my mind I, I just can't believe I've accumulated so many items of clothing and Vinted is like this is not an advert by the way but it's been such a godsend guys I prefer it so much to Depop I was very skeptical about it because I was like mm, I think I'm gonna get scammed, I was worried. But I've had nothing but like good experiences with it now. I have probably like 20 items of clothing that I need to list right now, which is a bit painful really. I also have a, a parcel that I ordered from Vinted, which looking at this, I feel so stupid because I already have so many clothes. Um, but I saw this top and I really wanted it, so I bought it. So maybe we should open that. I do think that my best self would stop ordering fucking clothes. So. <laughs> Guys, I'm so dead. <sighs> Oh. 
cute. I'm gonna look so where's Wally in this. <laughs> right, now on to actually selling. I was actually meant to go out for lunch today with a friend. We had to cancel because he wasn't around, which I'm absolutely fine with. But I made like a, a pre this video, what would the best version of me do decision. And was like, yeah, let's go out for lunch. Like even though I've been getting some kind of guilt about how much I've eaten out recently. And I just keep reminding myself that like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like I can do whatever I want. My body's not gonna change. I'm only gonna make memories and have like a more enriched life because I don't get out of the house enough as I've spoken about a lot <laughs> um, because of my PTSD and stuff like that. Yeah, I did make that decision and I, I, you know, the thought was there but it just didn't happen. I'm honestly really sad to be getting rid of this but I just never wear it and I don't think it's that me anymore. The doggy's just come home from her haircut. Come and give me kisses. Hello, were you a good girl? I think I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Would you like one, Mum? That would be lovely. I'm gonna have a little snacky food. Sesame snaps. I'm like not that far off being done listing these clothes, but I've just hit such a tired like wall block. I just feel exhausted. Like my brain is getting quite spaced out but what would the best version of me do she wouldn't nap recently i've been feeling like this so much and i've just been like i give up i'm going for a nap also i really need some powder like i look i'm glowing anyways um so i'm gonna go see if my mother wants to come on a dog walk with me because i need to wake myself up and i think that, that is what would probably be the best thing for me instead of actually having a nap that then is gonna affect my sleep tonight and make me waste hours of daylight also, haven't had any fresh air today, so. Just got back from a walk, hence why I'm looking rather windswept. Um, but that actually did energise me. I feel infinitely more energised. Not that you probably saw like any of the walks, I'm pretty sure I recorded like three seconds, but anyway. Please don't take this as a what I eat in a day because I have not shown you everything I've eaten today. I am about to go have a snack though because I feel like that will give me even more energy to carry on being the best version of myself. <laughs> this is my second afternoon snack moment um, because the best version of me always honors her hunger. We have a peach and apricot corner, bloody obsessed with corners at the moment, and a satsuma because vitamins and all that. I was saying though, like mentally, I feel so much better today. Like I just feel very, um, I feel very energized. <laughs> I feel very energized and good, so I'm just gonna shut up and eat now because I'm gonna hate myself when I edit this tomorrow and all I've done is ramble. I've listed everything that I needed to list on Vinted. I've done my washing, I've got it in, I've got my fresh air, I took my meds on time. I'm feeling really good. Somehow in my head though, I'm still like, does not sound like I've done that much, but what I have done has drained me. <laughs> Today has drained me. I'm gonna be having dinner soon, my boyfriend's gonna come home. And I realized that I am gonna be editing this all day tomorrow in order for me to be able to enjoy Easter weekend. Happy Easter, by the way, because this will be going up on Easter. I'm thinking tonight I am going to have some chill time, like watch some TV or play my Switch or read or something like that, um, because I know otherwise I'm gonna feel really burnt out after tomorrow because the best version of myself also looks after herself you know productivity is all well and good but you need to balance it out with enough fun times and rest too otherwise you are just gonna get burnt out but i do feel so much better for having picked myself up and actually got on with my day like i did my makeup before i even ate my breakfast this morning and i just felt so much more put together and ready and more productive doing my makeup makes me feel more productive i don't know if that's weird but it does <laughs> The best version of me always eats pudding. Relax. 
I just, it's just the texture, I think. Ah. I, want, I hope it's sad. I was really looking forward to that. What part of it do you not actually like? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's the flavour and then the texture in my mouth. Just the best Ben and Jerry's. The best version of me also goes to bed on time. I've had a way better sleep schedule recently and it's actually been really, really helping me. I've generally felt, this is gonna sound weird because I was also saying how I was in a slump and I have been, but I feel like it's different. Like, I, can't, I really can't explain it, but like having a good sleep schedule and not going on screens right before bed has helped, it's helped my quality of sleep, that's what I mean. Like I might still be tired, but I'm, I'm having a better quality sleep, if you know what I mean, Jesus. But anyway, the best version of me definitely goes to bed on time. I've really, really, really enjoyed today. I think the mindset of what would the best version of me do right now, it's quite like a gentle way of motivating myself because like, it's just me working towards the person that I know I want to be instead of it being like, you're not good enough, you're lazy, you should do this. It's just been helpful and I've enjoyed it and it's something that I'm definitely gonna carry on with to a level where I don't put pressure on myself as well, obviously. But yeah, I'm gonna get in the bathroom and take my makeup off and brush my teeth and do my self-care stuff because that is something that I know helps me too. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you next week. I'm gonna try and be more freaking on time with the uploads. I'm, I've been really frustrated that I haven't uploaded in so long because I've genuinely so i love you all so much please like please subscribe i will also leave my instagram in the description and i'll see you next week Push me down me